Eon new documentary series, Park High. Thompson! Mrs. Thompson! Mrs. Thompson! Feed the next row in! Park High School is a comprehensive. It has more than 900 boys and girls aged between 12 and 16. In between the chairs! In between the chair! In between the chair! It's in Stanmore, Harrow, just four miles from the famous public school. Go up on the stage and stand on a white cross, please. Park High is not a problem school, or one battling against overwhelming social deprivation. It's an ordinary suburban comprehensive, educating children of all abilities from all backgrounds. Some have severe problems, but many do not. It's popular with parents and gets good results. Right. In short, it's the sort of school most of us send our children to. Okay, here we go. Quite still, please. Quite still now for one. <laughs> We followed the school throughout the autumn term of 1991, a term in which the school strove to maintain its high standards. Why in the blazes was it then that over 20 of you failed to do it? The last person to raise his or her eyes to me left school. Would you like to leave now? You hit a boy in school? Yes. What have I said time and time again about aggression? Grappled with a revolution in education and battled against limited resources and crumbling buildings. Appalling. Um, the kids are great, the teachers are fabulous, but the facilities in which we have to work are really, in many cases, just an insult. These wonderful flagship schools that they're, they're spending millions of pounds on, whereas the kids here, you've seen the toilets, you've seen the science labs. Where's the fairness in that? It's pathetic. Park High also faced up to the challenges and problems that all schools must meet in the 90s. Truancy. Explain. She didn't want to stay in school? No, I know the feeling. On the other hand, what you want and often what you have to do are very different things. They can't send the policeman to every household and take the children to school. I mean. There must be something wants schools. to go to school. There must be something wrong with the child if he wants to go to school. Bullying. How many bear roughly altogether? Ten? No more than that. Was it fixed up? No. Was it arranged? Yeah. It hurt like in a day. If I was like mucked around with in a day, I, I was so depressed. I just couldn't get on. Drugs. I hoped he would be sensible enough not to. I hoped he would have the strength to walk away. I was wrong. And they're targeted on the testes. And, and the testes. sex. Number one, the penis. Yes, you should have all got that. Right, anyway, by the way, it doesn't look like you're but is it? And as with every school, there were the parents. The majority at Park are in agreement with the teachers. Last term, he was awful at home as well. And when I spoke to Mr Rumble and Mr Barker, mm. I said, well, I'm his mum and mm. I could kill him. I mean, I said, so I'm, I can imagine how teachers feel when he's standing there being stroppy. But not all saw eye to eye with the staff. Do you realise how ill I am over this? And well, do you realise what you're doing to my daughter's education? That's all right, is it? No. That's fine. Deborah's doing that to her education. I'm not Deborah's doing it not at doing all. anything to her education. All she wants to do is come back to school. But on September the 3rd, 1991, all was quiet as the school opened its doors for the first time since the summer holidays. Its head teacher, Keith Ford's last term, he moves to a new school at Christmas. Just get rid of that. Nothing worse than... Do we clean your As the new pupils arrive on their first day, 
the head is already dealing with the first problem of a new term, vandalism. Yeah, that looks interesting. Where is that coming?